lot of the time, we feel like our lives are the worst. But I think if you looked at anybody else's closet, you wouldn't trade your shit for their shit. I hit the reset, too many days, my nerves shake as a kid, cause the ops was shooting at recess, I couldn't recess, and each step, got heavier with the descent, this shit is decent, I hit the joint and get caught in all of my defects, can't nobody tell me that we next, I know that we now, I fell flat, I'm standing on my feet now, and as a kid I knew I was obsessive, watching words and similes curve different directions, uh, but what a blessing, I never had to pick up that Smith and Wesson to send a message, I wrote it in my book and kept it close to my I've been that pressure, I've been the one to see through all my sketches and find what's really divine and get to go express it with a blessing. Yeah. Niggas know the mission, hope it's over mentioned. Overcast, not the spoty, oh, the dope delicious. Oh, he mad, knowing niggas wouldn't co defend him. Go and brag to your bitches like you so inventive. <laughs> I've been overwritten, underpaid, soaking in my summer days. So it is, so it stays, so it is, so it stays. <laughs> Gotta go and get a couple plays. Both and my brother when he fall, out of shoulder pain. Uh, I've been holding rage in, about to go insane. I'm about to go insane. Yeah, but bless to my niggas rapping. You either trapped in the system or trapped. So for these past, like, couple weeks, I've been taking these nature walks, bro. Like, I really been in, in the woods and stuff. It feels like a jungle, it looks like a jungle, but ever since I came back from the Florida trip, maybe like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatnot, I haven't been feeling the same, bro. Like, I can't even cap. I was mentally drained and creatively uninspired, but I feel like these walks that I've been taking, bro, it's been really helping me out. It's been really helping me out, in a sense, bro. Um, just getting be, Just being able to be outside, in nature, seeing the trees, seeing the animals and stuff like that. Getting lots of sunlight. Like I get I still got a tan, bruh. And the trip was like, like I said, like three, two, three weeks ago, bruh. And I still got a tan for being out, outside all the time. But I started walking on this trail, man. Like it's a real deal trail. It's not it's not a park per se, but it's like a woozy naturey trail. And these walks it's been mentally like clearing up my head i have so much more mental clarity now i'm feeling inspired which is why i'm filming now like i, I basically want to film everything i've been watching certain people with cinematic vlogs and stuff i may start that but i want to get more into more films and stuff like that like get back in my bag basically get back in my bag bro i gotta start doing that man i gotta start doing that because if I don't do it, who else gonna do it? You know what I'm saying? So I gotta carry the boats. Shout out Goggins. I ain't gonna lie, bruh. That walk had to be about like maybe three and a half. Bruh, soon that, bruh, I'm telling you, every time that I make a video, bro, what the flip? Bro, it's like every time that I start to do something, like if I'm going on a walk, or if I'm doing something by myself, folks now want to hit me up. Like, it was dead silent the whole morning. That always happens to me. I don't know why. It be dead silent the morning of. Nobody hit me back. But then as soon as I'm doing something like walking on the trail, going to the park, getting something to eat by myself, everybody all of a sudden want to blow my phone. I'm like, what the flip, bruh? It's not a coincidental thing, too. Like, it happens pretty much almost all the time. And I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. But like I was saying, the trail had to be about maybe three and a half to four miles. On one of the things it said it was about a mile, I'm like, hell no, I think it's capping. I think it's capping for real. Because by the time I go from my car all the way to this area right here, or where this lake is at, it'd be like, it'd be like two o'clock from when I start, and then it ends up being like 3.20 once I get here. So I'm walking like a whole hour. It had to be more than like two miles, bro. It had to be about 
four miles. But that's just me guesstimating, though. That's just me guesstimating. I don't like to toot on my own horn, but I know how hard I be working, bro. I know how hard I be working, bro. Like, I could tell you since the beginning how hard I've been working. Like, I remember them days. I remember them nights where I was putting out 10 to 12 TikToks a day. Five to six YouTube, like, full-length videos a day, bro. Like, I'm not new to grinding, so I feel like that trip was just a reminder to just be present and have fun. You know what I'm saying? And just rest for a little bit. Don't worry about work. And that's what I've been on for these past couple of weeks, bro. I haven't really been working that much. I haven't really been making shorts or anything. Or i just been living in the moment. i just been going outside. i just been hanging out with my family. And i just been enjoying life. Just enjoying new relationships that I've been given in this life for this past year. i just been enjoying new adventures. And I feel like... I'm about to be back in my bag again, bro. Like, I'm about to be doing stuff that I want to do, bro. Because I feel like for a moment of time, it's like you want to do something, but you feel like, oh, I got to do this just to, you know, make ends meet, to get this money or whatever, bro. And that kind of pissed me off. It kind of irritated me a little bit because I'm like, dude, like, do what you were meant to do. Like, <laughs> seriously, do what you were meant to do. Like, go after your purpose. Go after your purpose, bro. Like, if you want to do anything, if you're watching this right now, if you want to do anything in life, bro, just go after it and do it. And no, nah, I don't be saying this to be, like, cliche or anything like that or to be some motivational type speaker or anything like that. That's just how I be feeling, bro. That's just how I be thinking my mindset is, bro. Like, bro, if you can put your mind to it, you can do it, bro. Set your mind to it. Intentionally set your mind to it and grind your tail off. But also learn how to balance that grind. I feel like so many people forget to rest. And resting, trust me, resting is important, y'all. Resting is important. And I've been learning that for this past month. And honestly, bro, I used to feel bad about resting and not doing any work because I felt like I was gonna get left behind or something. Like, I'm not gonna do my purpose or I'm not gonna achieve my goals if I don't work. But at the same time, I realized that after taking this break, this little hiatus and resting, man, it really restores your body, restores your mind, bro. Like, people need to rest more often because they're going to drain themselves and they're going to be at a point where they're burnt out, in a sense, bro. And not saying that I was burnt out. I just feel like, well, I was kind of burnt out. I ain't going to care. Now I just mentally drained and now it was just more than just mental. It was just something else that I was dealing with, bro. I couldn't really explain. Like, I can't even explain right now. But, damn, it's hot, bro. What the flip? Bro, when I tell you, this sun ain't no joke, bro. I'm finna just take out my shirt. It's old for it, bro. This jump finna get sticky. All right, bet. That jump finna get hot. I mean, that jump is hot. Like, God dang. But anyways, yeah, bro, don't be afraid to take some risks or take some days off, bro. Don't be afraid of that, bro. Like, your work is always going to be there. If you're a content creator, your followers are always going to be there. That support is always going to be there, bro. Excuse me. That support is always going to be there no matter what, bro. Even if you do lose them, they want real supporters in the first place, bro. I'm at a point right now, I'm like, I got to grow. I'm not talking about in terms of numbers, but I feel like I've been growing so much this year as a man, bro. Physically, mentally, spiritually, like everything, bro. I've just been growing. I've been growing as a person, man. I'm at a point where it's like, I do not want to be stagnant. Not saying that I was, but I don't want to be doing the same old shorts when I'm 30 years old or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be doing the same things, which is why I'm taking a different route. Like, I got to gain creative control, bro. I can't let other people tell me what to do anymore, bro. I can't do that. I'm not going to let that fly, man. I'm not. Always aspire to grow, bro. If you're not progressing up, where are you going? I know it's bigger and better things on the horizon, bro. And I'm not just saying this to be all, this nigga motivational. No, nah, bro, I'm just <laughs> telling y'all, bro, what I've been going through since I came from the trip and since I haven't been posting. You know what I'm saying? That much. But that's all about to change. Bro, I honestly just been sitting here just watching this view, man. I can't even cap, bro. It's such a, like, this junk just be relaxing, bro, to just sit here and to just think, bro. Just to think. It just clears your mind, but... I'm finna go back up. It's 4.10 right now. So by the time I get back to my car, it should be like 5 something, which is crazy because I got to walk all the way back. I think it's like four miles back. 
So, that's crazy, bro. I would, man, if I had a bike, I would, I, I should buy a bike. Because I've been zooming on that jump, bro. I ain't got no time to be walking for an hour. But it helps, though, so I'm not complaining at all. It's, it's nature, bro, but it is hot as hell. I can't cap. It's hot as hell. Bro, I just saw a dude pee in a bush. Well, pee behind those trees, he act like nobody saw that dude. I was right there looking at you. He going just his pants like nobody looking at anything like that. But I just got through with my walk. I ain't gonna lie, it was a W walk. It was a peaceful walk. Um, I recommend y'all, if y'all, but I recommend if you don't walk, that you start a routine where you do have a daily walk. It helps me out every time I walk. I don't walk every single day, but most days I actually been walking at least like five to six days a week. I've been walking outside and it's been really paying dividends. It's really been helping with my mental bro. But yeah, moral of the story, find your peace and get back in your bag. Yeah. <laughs> Antidepressants ain't working, I sip the syrup now These little pills that gave me to keep my mood down I'm talking mood stabilizers, I got the guilt to survive As I keep my head in the Bible, my sanity in a bottle Paint my pain on Picasso, the truth is harder to swallow They friendship, it was hollow, God first and I follow Conversation with Jesus, said it's hard to be a nigga I'm inclined to believe him, knowing the truth is a gift 